Okay, okay, it's officially happened. I'm a member at a golf club. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I'd like to welcome Christopher back. Chris, how are we? Very good, yourself? Very, not just good, very good. Oh, very good. Something must be awry. Sun's out. Well, that's, 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 that's all it takes around. for you, isn't it's it? It's rained the last couple of weeks. One thing I will say that's going to dampen your mood, the score's 11-1 on the point system for Golf Catcher Fridays. Well... It's time yet. <laughs> it's time. So, um, Chris, I'm going to let you lead us off, and we're going to talk a little bit about we're going to talk a little bit how, why, and when I joined Woolley Park Golf Club, and what the plans are for it. Oh, handicap, Chris. Handicap. Yeah, I can be my own mid-handicap golfer. Well, that is true. You're not far off. So you're a good twelve. Yeah, that's fair. Ooh. Five. I am for safety. Tell you what, that's going to work perfectly as well. What a worm burner! Shot. That'll look good on shot tracer. <laughs> Oof, so eight. guys, fun story. I've actually got all ping golf club today for a new series that we are running that might already be out actually. So Chris, do you want to have a look what I got in my special bag as well? Oh, sorry, bad throw. Your special pouch. Is there any broken tees anywhere? No, you've got some teas in here though in your membership oh, that? pack. You can have one, the simulator at oh, Woolly Golf Park. It's like the new. Oh, you've got a membership card. Should we show them all, Chris, when I've teed off? That was my idea. Oh, right. Oh. Come on. Time to really. Oh, what else have we got? Oh, sit. Sit. Oh, straight in. Bunker. That was a handsy one. You've got this. So we've got, I'm just going to show you guys what I've got in my membership pack here at Woolley Park Golf Club. Over the moon. Turn it around, Chris, so we can see that pouch. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful, isn't it? What Bloody have we got? Lovely. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, we've got a, we've got a membership, membership card. card. So I can get, I'll get you a beer on that afterwards, Chris. Oh. These are all things which I think when you join a golf club, you need, don't you? You need your... You kind cards. of cards and stuff like that, and we've also got a little ball marker, a Woolly Park Let's ball marker. Look at this one there. Northern ball markers make that, that's quite cool, isn't it? And it'll say something on there you'll see now, honorary member. So I'm over the moon to announce that I am now honorary member here at Woolly Park Golf Club. Well, everyone's thinking, and we all know you are, it means James hasn't paid anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I thought this was the Northern ball marker, but this is the... Uh... That's the bag tag. Right. Check that oh, out. Oh, with your logo on. Yeah. So, Chris, what do you think the handicap's going to be? Especially after that shot that's just gone. I'd say, you know, you might get into the single figures. I'd say, yeah. Uh, I eight. think three or four. Oh. I was going to say eight. But yeah, three or four, <laughs> James. I'm really confident. Ball mark, uh, pitch roll. Pitch mark, a pair that everyone should have. It's a bit different as well. Right, it? should we go and find those balls? I'm going to say, let's start. And Chris really isn't going to be happy with me because not only are we using all pink clubs, but we're using a motor caddy trolley today as well with GPS on there, so doesn't bode well for you today, mate, does it? No, I'll tell you what you don't see as much of now is a power caddy. You don't, do you? It's always... I certainly had a power caddy when I was younger. Back in the day, when you were a nipper? Back in the day, when I had a tour bag for no reason and still <laughs> chopped it round. And still half a set of clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, back to the reason about this video. So I've joined Woolley Park Golf Club, I'm now a member, and I can't wait to get started. I'm going to play in a few comps, Chris. Ooh. Because well, when you I do play every Saturday anyway. Yeah, I do, and that's the thing, that's one of the big reasons why I think John and the family said you might as well be a member, you might as well join. Obviously, I think they're aware that when we do these videos, it's good marketing for them and people yeah. generally come and play and really have good feedback and enjoy the course. So, um, guys, what do you think the handicap's going to be? What do you, I, I honestly think... Yeah, all right, I'll, well, be, shot, what, I'll be generous, I'll give you five. I shot one under par the other day with Foxy. Well, to be honest, I don't really understand the new index. No, I don't either. So that, you could that, be off whatever. Yeah, and that could worry me a bit. You could kind of go from like scratch to six to scratch in three rounds. 
but she's more than likely. Yeah, very more than likely. Yeah, it depends how many beers we have. I think. Ah, yeah, true. Yeah. Right, Chris. Not ideal. Um, yeah, back pin. Back pin. This isn't an easy shot, is it? No, it's not. I'm in the middle. Uh, but I'll tell you, Chris. We've got one five six to the middle. Oh, one five six. Says it on the yellow. So well, I can even keep a scorecard if I want to. Look. I won't bother. No. Although uh, you need to get something for your handicap. Oh, kicked. I've just kicked the camera. No. Keep that in. The fans love my camera work. And we're not placing in here anymore, are we? Not. Oh, it's no. below your feet as well. Not placing. One five seven. Eight iron. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's going to be a difficult up and down now as well. It's going to be over the bunker onto a down slope. I don't think it'll be a one under. Day, un, uh, it won't be a one under to wit. Uh, even again, English. It won't be one under today. With but me, what I'm so. thinking here is I've got an excuse because these aren't my clubs. Oh, right. These are John's clubs. Are they clean? No, so I'm not going to clean them. Terrible condition they are. Oh, you haven't got a towel anyway. He hasn't even provided you with a towel, John. To be honest, it, it's my fault. I, I keep losing my King's Barnes towel. Lost it again? Yeah. So here's mine, middle of the fairway, as planned. Five it was a, da was a Damien though, were not it? It's a shocking shot, to be honest. It might have pitched on the path. Yeah, it certainly wasn't your best. Right, what have we got? What's the motor caddy saying? It's saying, Chris, you have 129 to the middle. So probably about 135. Um, who have you robbed to get that? Well, I lost all my golf balls when I played at Prince's, so one of the members at Royal Waterfront had about 100 of these knockoff tailor-mades in his boot. Mm, fair enough. But they've, I've not lost this one yet, so take the positives. Oh, oh that's delightful. Oh, Be good. It's just correct. Oh. <laughs> what a ball. Thanks, Jock. I mean, you are due a win, <laughs> I'll say. Tell me about it. I haven't won yet. <laughs> I haven't won all year, and it's bloody August now. Yeah, that's a good point. So guys, we should say as well, huge thank you to the guys, oh, that's gone the wrong way, huge thank you to the guys at Golf Catcher for sponsoring this video and this series. It's allowing us to get to different golf courses. The plan is to get to your golf course as well. So get in the comments below and let us know why should we come to your golf course? What's your story and where are you? I think we've got to put something in today with, with the comment and the 10th comment on the video and they give us a good reason. We're Ten. in. I'm just making a random number up, so it's not Your name's first. got to be Bob, you've got to be 27 years old. You've got to be wearing blue socks. It's very much like a Martin Duff comp at Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chris, this doesn't look the easiest. And my big gripe here is I don't actually have a 60 degree, I only have a 58 degree. Oh, what a travesty. It's uh, not the best, that, for me. I'll tell you what, it's in cracking condition, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It is onto a downslope as well, isn't it? Yeah, need some loft. Oh. <laughs> See, I tried to play that sensibly and it's just not worked. Is that because it's not a 60? Yeah. Didn't feel comfortable. Right, shall I come on? This is yeah, for part. Do you want to play on? Same club. Same club, Take yeah. Take two. Oh, that was nipped. Oh, just stay left. That was better. Mm. Better. I'll even give you that one. Thanks, mate. Feel sorry for you not having a 60. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, there's some meat left there. I mean, if I've given you, you've got to really give it me as a gentleman's gesture that I've given you yours. Yeah, mine's for a five, yours is for a four in the win. <laughs> All right. Is that how it is then? Hey, they're like picks these, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, that's that's the original picks. How oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were knockoffs. Well done. See, you'll be glad that I, get, I didn't give it you now because it's a confidence booster. Oh, it is. The pride I feel after <laughs> knocking that in. First lead ever. Right, so for the first time in the series, James goes one down. Um, I'll get the excuses in here, guys. I had my COVID jab today. I'm feeling a bit ill, so. I've heard it all. I was bed bound yesterday. 
Yeah, it's only because you had 15 ales over the weekend. No, that was Friday. Just Friday? Yeah. Right, Chris, how does it feel to take your first ever lead in the series? It's quite emotional, to be honest. I don't know what to do now. Play safe on this 372-yard hole. Well, I played safe on the last and I thinned it. <laughs> driver, do you think? Definitely not driver. It's not driver. No, driver puts you in a ditch. Five iron. I'm going to hit a three wood. Oh, I might hit your two iron. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Yeah. I'm going to test it. Test it for when you steal it. Correct. That and the driver. Gonski. Those two yellow stakes, is it? Uh, just yeah, with that probably just left of them. <clears throat> Pay that. Not okay. my finest. Just to let the viewers know, that's 150 yards right of those two yellow stakes. I told you to go just left of. But apart from that, yeah, it sounded all right. Well, other than stri strike and direction. Oof, this is a LST, oh, 14 and a half, set to 13 degrees. Oh, this, this could go in the ditch. This could go anywhere. With your fierce speed. Oh, it's down. Oh, it's perfect. It's at those two yellow stakes I mentioned. Oh, it's delightful, Chris. Middle strike. LST. 425. I never thought I'd see the day. I must admit, this level of organisation is a bit much for me, um, but I am finding the clubs quite quickly. Not usually that organised. I know my half set anyway. I'm stressed <laughs> looking at it. <laughs> so, Chris, I must say, now I'm a member. Oh, oh, member. A couple of things I'm really looking forward to, using, making the most of facilities, actually coming up and practicing. Discount on your beer. Dis yeah, so that's, that was going to be one of them, I'm not going to lie. Um, but definitely coming up and practicing. Like I said earlier, <laughs> you can't just go straight into the discount on beer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the truth. It is the truth, but also coming up and practicing, because I don't practice. Like You might all yeah. realise, or you might all see on the videos, that I need to practice, and I do play better golf when I practice. So Simulator. Simulator, yeah, par three course. All these things that we did touch on in the video, well, we touched on it a couple of times because yeah. Chris deleted the footage from one of the videos, but then I tried to touch on it all again. Um, I don't have control over those things, as people will be aware. What do you have control over? Nothing really in my life. No, not a thing. <laughs> supposed to be cleaning now, but <laughs> dodge that. Uh, right, is that one fiddy steak? Yeah. I should have brought the trolley over and told you, shouldn't I? Oh, you should. Right, back to you. Not friendly pins so far. What have you got here? Uh, eight? Seven iron. Ooh. Just started over the old bunker. Um, if it's big enough, it wasn't your best strike. Go. Oh, it's back deck. It's wonderful. Ah. Oh. oh, it's coming back down. Tell you what, that launched like your 60 degree then. Yeah, it went it? wide, didn't it? But it's on the dance floor. Take it. So, Chris, I know we haven't been playing that much recently because we've both been very, very busy. Correct. Have you seen my putting on the videos? Uh, I'm going to go with yes. And it's been fantastic. Because that's the only way I'd bring it up. Yeah, I'm guessing that, pretty much. The only way you'd ever bring your putting up is if it was good. But my reasoning for bringing that up is when we talk handicap and stuff, yeah. if I put well, like I had 27 puts, we're doing a, a series of shot scope as well. Yeah. So I had 27 puts in that one round, which is way, way, way below my average, probably below yeah. tour average as well. Yeah. Obviously, you turn that into 30 puts, 32, which it probably normally would be, that's three or four over par, which probably would be my handicap, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's true. I mean, the more worrying thing is you've had 27 putts and only shot one under par. Did you miss quite a lot of greens? No, I didn't actually. I had a lot of, like, chances. Oh. But that's not very... I didn't expect that. <laughs> 113 to the back. Oh, he says to the back, does he? Oh, front, middle and back, mate, on there. Oh, well, do you, why do you only tell me the middle? Oh, you can move the flag as well. I thought you could work it out yourself. Right, I'm going to attack at this with John's 50. 50? Yeah. Good luck. 
<laughs> oh, I've pulled it. Pulled it. Clubs. It's all the clubs. Off the bank. Watch this. <laughs> Go on. Terrible golf, James. <laughs> Terrible golf. This is what I'm up against. Members bounce up. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Now I'm not going to say mine didn't deserve to be there, but it didn't. It, it it pitched over there, so this is where mine pitched, and I was unlucky. Yeah, I was. I mean, mine could have. Been, mine's downhill put now, actually. So <laughs> I've heard it all. <laughs> Oh, Chris, that's a great putt. Is that all right? Might be. Dan Kashen. Oh, look at these. Oh, I got told off the other day as well. On an email. Someone emailed me. Oh, you're joking. No. Why when when putts are given, don't knock them in. Pick them up and walk on and get on with it. Right. Don't knock them in. Was he a die-hard fan? Well, I, don't, I don't think he was a fan, to be honest. He was more... Oh. I don't know. Seemed a bit odd. Strongly worded email. Yeah. Just what he even said the F word as well. Oh. F word. No one wants that, do they? They don't. Not when you're on your 15th star of <laughs> I'll move that for you. Thanks. Oh, Ooh. it's just... Came a bit softer than my Scotty would do. I'll give you that. Ah, so see, he's not going to be happy now. Your mate, he sent another email. <laughs> he sat there now typing it up. I bet he's got a template for the email <laughs> he sends to you. Right, Chris, fourth hole, our third hole. How good is that green looking now, by the way? I know, it has come on since last that's time. It's going to be it? wonderful when that's back in play, isn't it? Mm. Uh, and we've actually got, Chris, we've got 275 to the back edge. Oh. So that's just, oh, it's a three wood for you, that is it. Oh no, it's a driver in my old age. We're Is 30 it? now, James. Yeah, we're both 30 now. 30 now. Oh, depressing. Right then. Still your honour. Honourable half in fours, that was. So do you set it off on the edge of the trees and fade it, or...? Yeah, you can go probably about 50, 40, 50 yards right of the tree line. Why, over there? Yeah. I'll play a slider instead for safety. Could be perfect, that. Not heard anything. I didn't hear any trees, which is a rarity. Right, what driver have we got? We've got a Ping G425 LS Tech. Oof. In nine degree with a rogue 70 gram stiff. Should be about right there, I think. No excuses. Oh. Mr. Greenkeeper popped his head round. Oof. Oh. Would be lovely if that was the hole, wouldn't it? Yeah, if it was a right to left, that would have been perfect. We're in play though, Chris. You are, you've opened it up. Opened her up. Something like that. You'll see here, Chris, we have another one of the golf dogs. Yeah. Always uh, always a pleasure to see a dog on a golf course, isn't it? Well, we're normally seeing a pheasant, but that dog's just come out. Yeah, that's the point. Where's away. Phil? Phil must be off. Taking it easy. Oh, he's kicked it as well. <laughs> it's not just me who kicks the cameras, folks. That's where I learnt it. <laughs> it's too long, this tripod, isn't it? Ah, oh, it is, yeah. Bag looks well, though, doesn't it? Bag looks well. Yardages are good. It's got a bit of a slight pull to the left. Has it? Well, I hope so. I've set it off there now. <laughs> right, so Chris is still looking for his over there. I've got... Oh, I think I'm on the wrong hole here. I've got 66 to the front, or 65. Flags at the front. And this is where now... Oh, he's in the bunk. You're in the bunker? No, can't find it. Right, I really need to... Start playing a bit now, because I can't lose to him. Not here. Sit down. What's that? Oh, not bad. 
Right, we've got it. I don't know how it stayed there, Chris, but... Me neither. But I'll take it. Oh, sounded a bit thin. Was a bit thin. Yeah, not terrible. Right, well, we're hardly lighting this one up, Chris, are we? <laughs> Made it look harder than it possibly is. Oof, oof. Went for it. Too firm for that line, I think. He's gone for it. He's only had a go. You don't know what it's like being one down, do you? No, I don't. I'm not enjoying it either. Oh. oh. Two in a row. I'll give you that. Oh, thank you very much. Make sure you take it, though. How generous is that? Oh, I need this for the half, then, not to go dormy. Last thing I need is a strongly worded email. I know. Oh, I'll tell you what. Flag out. Yeah. Freedom. We, we, we need this, don't we? Freedom. Where have you got it? Just outside left. Remember that face is a bit softer than your Scotty. Well, you've just bulleted that one. Oh, oh, oh. tell you what. Did a lap of honour. We'll take it. Neither that or that could have been embarrassing. One down, two to play. I'm closing in. I bet you're feeling nervous, aren't you? I am actually, yeah. Touching the cloth, some would say. <laughs> Bit of squeaky <laughs> bum time, is it? <laughs> I have to check it at half time. <laughs> Stroke index four. Is it really? Yeah. Stroke index four. Like, well, last time I played it was in the winter, weren't we? Up there. Right then. Stroke. One up with two to go. I'm going to have to send one up and over those trees. Sent it up and over a bit. Oh. <laughs> Didn't sound great for you. <laughs> struck it well and it struck that tree solid in the wrong direction. Oh. It struck that tree solid. Okay. Wallops. Right, well, I'm going to play it a bit safer, Chris, and go down the right hand side. <laughs> ah. You know where all the room is? Well, I didn't know how much room there was. Oh, bit of a Tina Turner. That's okay, is that? We'll take that. It's lucky you aimed down the right. Yeah, it is. Otherwise, it should have been with me. So, guys, a lot of people might be wondering, I'm talking about getting a handicap, and you all know that I'm a PGA Pro. How can a PGA Pro get a handicap? So, the rules actually changed with the new handicap system. So, PGA Pros can get a handicap and can play in club comps, which I think is great. A lot of PGA Pros are very, very good golfers. They compete against each other and play for money. Yeah. Then there's us. Yeah. And we yeah, almost kind of get lost because we're not good enough to play in those comps, so we don't bother entering them because we don't practice. Whereas now we can get a handicap, we can compete at a club level as well as putting all the qualifications we've done to teach golf still in practice, which I think is great, do you? Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things that I miss is, again, playing your Saturday medal, having a beer after, everybody playing in there and coming off and having a good laugh. Yeah. Whereas now you're expected most to work on Saturdays, uh, looking after the other members and sat in the shop. Yeah, which isn't for us, mate, is it? Not for us, Not no. for us. Definitely not. And I think actually that might be a good driving force to get new young people into the PGA. I don't know if they're struggling or not, but I know if you meant working in the shop every hour of every day, I think you might struggle. I'm sorry, but that's got no right finishing there. Well. Like I said, I hit it solid and it showed me some it respect. Like, it hit the fourth tree in there. Show me respect and drop down. I can't believe what I've just seen. Oh, I've opened it up to a right pin as well, haven't I? <laughs> 150, I'm guessing. What's if, the, oh, oh, do you want to know? Oh, what's the motor caddy say? 147 middle, 158 back and a steady 136 to that front edge, Christopher. Right. Oof. Let's get one Tina Turner in down there. Oh. oh, the leaf's took a bit off it. That could be nice. I've feathered it. Oh. Oh. 
come yeah, on. Yeah, just could come back down actually. No, oh. back edge, not bad. Not bad. Feathered it. Feathered it to be Not sure that was the correct description, but right, Chris, just about to walk into my ball in the fairway. The leaves, leaves deceiving me. What's the most caddy say? It's saying 108 to the back, which is where the flag is. It's about, about a 105 shot. We're going to go 50 degree again. Right. Try not to pull it. There's no slope to save you this time. No, this needs to be good, doesn't it? This probably needs to land about 100 yards and just release out. I think. Not asking much to say you pulled the last one. Oh, it's nice. Big good. Oh, I'll tell you what, we oh, sat. Oh. That's some spin on it, didn't it? it? Clipped it too good. It was good, that. I enjoyed that. Right, I need to pull something out of the bag here, I think. Right, well, I landed it about 100 like I wanted. It just sat down, which I suppose it's going to be a fairway. Probably a bad call from me. But Chris has got to get up and down from there. Not the easiest shot. Short game. Oh, he's put in it. It's about to say for the fans. I've seen it all. A lot of people try and land it perfect on here, but we've got the slope. We know there's nothing in between ourselves and the flag. So as long as we get this ball rolling down this hill, we can get it. it should 60 be able is to definitely get the shot. Pretty close. I mean, for me, that reeks of someone who's uncomfortable in the lead. Well, it's got me a uh, guaranteed part. There's nothing guaranteed about that, my friend. You'll get your ball marker out. Oh, have you got a woolly one? <laughs> yeah, I have. I'm only not a member anywhere. I don't get ball markers. Tees will do. Right. Well, have we got it slightly right to left? Let's see, he's a member now. He's doing his pitch mark. What a member. There's quite a lot of rights left at the end, isn't there? Ooh, are we fancying it as a two or a three? Two, that firm two up the hill. Firm two up the hill. Doesn't want to use that member's card with his member's discount. Oh, it just wasn't firm enough. You had the line. That's disappointing. <laughs> That's disappointing. Gave you that one. Did you? Another email coming. <sighs> Strongly worded. And that means he cannot lose. Cannot lose. I might get another. Well, at least I've got another point. I've doubled my tally. Minimum. Progress. Right, well, one down with one to go. Always disappointing when basically a sloppy opening hole it could cost you the match. Yeah. I always think with the five hole matches we do, you've got time to kind of recoup but then really we've just not hold putts have we no we've not played too bad scoring's not been I'm bad. one over par so just not really hold any birdie putts you've you've scrambled left right and center haven't you in fairness regulation stuff <laughs> regulation hit trees make putts is that a new merch line i think so yeah sixth hole you may think i am Ooh. 296 to the back I'll give you a clue what I'm going to do. I'm one down with one to go, so I can't get any worse, really. Driver. Uh, actually, I think with three wood. To, yeah, driver. <laughs> I'm going to iron for safety. Are you really? Well, I'm protecting a lead. Plotting the hole out on the uh, GPS system. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> There's a bunker at 171. Let's, where's the green? Let's have a look. Let's have Oh no, I can't get to that. Definitely not. Seven iron. Should leave me about a hundred. Seven iron? You really are trying to protect this lead, aren't you? Seven iron at the black and white stake. Yep. Yeah, that's perfect. Another high one, weren't it? Another cloud cutter. Oh, I've got to, I can't afford not to. Go over to this right side, bit of draw, put it to about 10 feet, roll her in. Thanks for coming. Well, I'll still have doubled my tally. Basically, you've got to get it towing and turning over. Towing and turning over. Right. There. 
That's not going to be near the green, is it? Yeah. Well, it's just nearly missed that tree. Exactly. Get in! <laughs> Might be a touch left. Oh, now it's coming out. Just depends where they put the flag, Chris, really. Well, wherever I am, I'm in the middle, I can get to it. No oh, danger. Oh, imagine if that's close and a rolling an eagle put in to bring you back. Stephen. Back down to earth. We'll get Stephen on. Yeah, we'll get Stephen on. <laughs> right, Chris, a little bit too much movement on yours there. Yeah, so much for the clear view. Yeah, um, luckily enough, you've got about a pitching wedge in. What's you've got 136 to the middle. Right. Flags at the front, so about 125. Oh, down breeze. It's a nice breeze, actually, that. It is, isn't it? Surely this is a gap wedge, isn't it? Oh, no, just an easy nine. Is that because you haven't got a gap wedge? No, I have got a gap wedge. Just fancying a nine. It's delightful if it's on it. It's delightful. Oh, it's long. Told you it was gap wedge. Hey Zeus, it is long. <laughs> <laughs> Through the back. <laughs> out the rough downwind and you're trying to chip a little nine out. What's wrong with you? Well, I did hit it well. It wasn't far away, but that's uncalled for. Oh, you need, do you know what you need? A 60 degree. 60 degree. Oh, I can't believe that. If that was just there. Oh, well. Let's see what we can do with this. Amazing how there's a rake here, yet someone's managed to not use it. Can't have been a member like yourself. I dare say this is impossible. <laughs> Open her up. Full swing. Hosel at the ball. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. How good is that? That could have end. gone very wrong. I'll use the rake for the person who didn't. Put in again. What's happened to your short game? It's a put all day. Well, this is the play. Just get it going. Not the Ryder Cup, Chris. Oh, it is, in my eyes. It's a crispy duck. Never mind the Ryder Cup. Nice weight. Not bad. Mm, good pace. There's meat left on it, though. There's some duck left in that wrap. <laughs> right, so this to remain unbeaten. Can I have it out, Christopher, please? Certainly can. Because it's either going in or through the camera lens. <laughs> for a bird eye. First one of the day for us. I'm going to say it's been a bit dry on the old birdie count, hasn't it? It has. It's normally rather moist. Didn't want to turn. I mean, you're happy with the putt, aren't you? You're delighted. It's a good four in the end from that lie in the bunker. Try and get in his way a bit, put him off. You never like putting through your shadow. No. But. Oh, it's a win. Some of you never lose it. It's a win. Never lost it. I've got to say, it's taken me to come out and play the day after my Covid jab for him to get a win. And four months. And four months, but he's finally got a win on the board on the Golf Catcher Friday series. Well done. 11-4. 11-4, that's all of a sudden gap bridged a bit, isn't it? Oh yeah, and we're at RGC next before we uh, yeah. get the fans in. Um, well guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I'm now a member here at Woolley Park Golf Club, so um, let me know what content you like to see around that, handicaps, competitions, all the rest. Chris, thank you ever so much for your time. And huge thanks to Ryan and Paolo at Golf Catcher. Check them out on the gram, sponsoring the series. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. See you next week.